Ah, oh, order stupid toast. I could got I could have played my mountain giant. Oh, I got so excited for. My bad, my bad, my bad. This guy's toast. Warlock's pretty tough, though. I'm gonna do Warlock next. Does it have a name? Alright, new subs here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. ASAP, 4 months resub, Aqua Cadet, Uber 98, and Maxwell. A giant rat. Your soul I think I need my one drop here. <laughs> Noise. We'll see. There's quite a few ways you can build warlock. You can build aggro zoo or you can build giants. Uh, it's usually one of those two. Depends on if we get Scepter or if we get the flag. Because if we get flag, um... It makes way more sense to go to. Ah, missed it. Come on, I'm so lucky. If we get stealth, we can also consider going to. So let's see what the treasure is. Usually, the first treasure gives you a really good idea of how you can build the rest of the deck. Uh, I don't love just the carbs ring. It's probably scepter gun. And then we'll just pick giants accordingly when it comes up. Because giant with scepter, giants become like essentially zero cost. Just the guard's ring's not good enough. It gives us value, but it doesn't give us tempo at all. And magic is just bad in general. It's probably scepter. Five mana Cthune. The problem, I, I, the one thing I don't like about the Cthune option here is that, um, You don't want Twilight Geomancer in your deck, really. Although a five mana Cthulhu isn't bad, and the rest of the options aren't great either. Although I don't hate the one on the left. It's probably Cthulhu because you can pick more Cthulhu options down the line, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Although you just don't want Twilight Geomancer. It can come in helpful, like. Uh, taunted up Cthulhu. It's one of the worst things you want to play on two. The three four spawn. Your soul shall be mine. Yeah, we can get double battle cry to help make our Cthulhu a lot better. Come closer. <laughs> double battle cry with Doom Guard. Yeah, we want to try and. Get like really big minions. Although with like tab, we can afford to not draft too much because we can tap into some of them. But yeah, we'll see. Is Glyph of Warding ever good? Uh, Glyph of Warding is always good. I think it's definitely one of the stronger ones if you're looking for a decent option. It doesn't have the ability to high roll, but it doesn't need the ability to high roll. I like Glyph of Warding, it's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> what? Ooh, five mana Cthulhu feels good. 
How good does that feel right now, chat? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm just maximizing the odds of Katsuna killing him. Heal is cheap. But his wings gotta be black. Yeah, if we, can get, if we can get double battle cry, it's pretty good. With Katsune. But treasure comes like two turns later, right? Ooh, I mean. Some synergy here, some synergy there. It's, if I had battle cry, I probably pick this one, but Molten Giant is potentially really good early on and these two aren't bad either i can't put all my bucket in kazoom because i'm not guaranteed to hit double battle cry this is just generally good <coughs> if i had battle double battle cry i'd pick it I don't know. Maybe I would have got more Kitsune cards, but at the same time, a Flame Imp is good, the Flame Watchers are good, and Giant can be really cheap. And to be fair, it wasn't like there was a Kitsune in that. I think they were both fine. Maybe I should go on Kathoon, but what was the option? The Beckoner, the uh, Divine Shield dude, and uh, yeah, no. Um, Molten Giant, if you take a few damage early on, you can just get it really early, which helps. Like right now, if I had Molten Giant, it costs zero mana. Because if I pick all that Kassoon cards and I don't draw Kassoon, it's really, really bad. No faith, Toast. No faith. Dragon for Kassoon? Why if I never get another Kassoon bucket, right? If I get a bucket with Katoon in it, I'll still pick it. But uh... Oh my god, use this on Katoon? <laughs> Wait. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. That doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. Wait, minions in my hand becomes copy of it. Oh, that's not that great. It's still pretty good though. But it doesn't give me immediate value. But it gives me high roll potential. And high roll potential is what we're all about, right? Do you want any erotic, erotic cube? Erotica. Hmm. Is 
this is so scary. Especially Bloom. Bloom has no synergy with anything in our deck. I like the Molten Giant. I don't like the Blood Bloom nor the Chittering. I don't hate Void Caller because Void Caller can just whip out one another over and over again. Molten Giant is great. You know what's not great? Blood Bloom. Blood Bloom is not great. Play a 5 mana Jaraxxus. The last thing I'm gonna do in my final bosses is turn into someone with 15 health. Although Molten Giant is a really good card, and Trinity Thunder is not bad. I just don't really like Blood Bloom. It's Blood or Demons. I don't think it's Jaraxxus. I don't really. I, I, some people predict it's not that good. Void Collar is okay because Void Collar pulls out another Void Collar, which can pull out another Void Collar, which can pull out Doom Guard. The one benefit of Blood is it has Multi Giants. Which gets me excited. I think to win, you have to think about high rolling. And multi giant can high roll. Oh. Wax Monster, All I have to be aware of is bosses with hard board clears. Your soul shall be mine. I'm a pretty pretty. I would also like, uh, I think on Warlock, double health is, ugh. I mean, this is the highs and the lows, right? So this is why Giant is good. Because it has high rate potential. And sometimes that's what you need to beat the bosses. Especially guys like um Cogwaggle. I'm not loving my mimicry pick because it turns minions in my hand into minions. It doesn't give me immediate value. It's only good to like if I save crappy minions. Having infinite Molten Giants isn't going to win me the game, right? Having Gul'dan... I need like double health. I need heals. <laughs> The Gul'dan option, Gul'dan himself is good. The problem is I don't have any more demon. I don't ha have much demons, and the other two option was pretty weak. Like you don't want that Murloc dude, right? Your soul shall be mine. Lead them, God to yeah, we're gonna need something that heals. If I get the potion of vitality, I'm pretty sure I'll take it.
This is a very, very weird run. I mean, you're seeing the benefits of Molten Giants in action right now. And we got three of them. <laughs> like, it's hard for them to deal with an early giant. Like, the only bad guys are, like, Flummox on Zol, I guess, would be really bad. Yeah, the downside is we had to pick Blood Blue. Which really, really sucks. Hmm. Let's see. Special armor. Shine. Cube is good. I actually never played Cube. Maybe it is. Mimicry is more like you need spells cost one less. How many spells do we have? One, two. That's right. How many do we have? None. Taunt. How many do we have? We can make a thune taunt. Right, let's just cl go cloak. I mean, this is bad, and this is bad. Ho ho ho, these are good with Scepter. And it doesn't require me to kill myself, which is great. Huge hands. I got the biggest hands ever. Now I just need a potion of vitality because I'm pretty sure I'll die super fast. So I got five giants here. And I managed to draw zero. Although having early games not necessarily bad, I just want giants in my hand. Why did I pick Mask of Mimicry? It's hard to imagine getting value from Mask. Oh, hit me, baby, one more time. So that's why I play Giant. That's why I play Mass of Mimicry. Oh, that all makes sense now. That's why. <laughs> well, I mean, we're, we got a plan. We just stick to the plan. We got the biggest hand, don't we, folks? Your soul shall be mine. This is funny. This is funny. 
This is oh, I'm having a good laugh, mate. Volcanic potion, really? Ah, oh, order stupid toast. I could got I could have played my mountain giant. Oh, I got so excited for My bad, my bad, my bad. Blood Bloom has energy with Wish. <laughs> We're taking that much damage. We probably might need Wish down the line. It's probably Wish. Not these. Not these. And not these. Ugh. Savannah's isn't bad. We could use the life gain, I suppose, on drain life, but man, it's bad. But these are bad too, besides Savannah. Siphon Soul is actually not bad, though. I mean, I don't mind the Drain Life because I might need some heal. I do have Wish, but when I would, but Drain Life is such a bad card. But Devil's Sword Egg is such a bad card, and Void Terror is such a bad card because we got nothing that synergizes with them either. It's probably the middle one. Oh, okay. Get the Giants. Mulligan for Giants, Mulligan for Giants, Mulligan for Giants. Azari, besides from the milling, doesn't do too much unfair things in between the milling. Like, I think our deck is pretty good against Azari because I don't think Azari also runs. Did it run Brawl? Azari runs Brawl, right? Does Azari run Brawl? Alright, please, Azari, hurt me. Hurt me. Hurt me. Call me names. Spit on my face. Those, uh, stop being weird, sir. No! No! Yes! Okay. Oh no, next turn is his, he's going to his brawl turn, though. Who was the last boss I fought? I was playing Paladin. As Paladin, I was playing against... Azari, right? I was playing against Azari. Who brawled me? He has no brawl? So are you telling me I can go do this? And then I can do this, and I can do this, and he won't brawl it? Is that what you're telling me, chat? That I can do this, and 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 I can do this, and, I can do this, and he won't brawl. And then after that, I can do this, I can do this, and I can do this. I think that was my easiest run ever. I can't think of a run where I had this... It was that easy. Hey. 
Lights out.